Hi. Today we're going to be starting with a super mesh analysis and super mesh analysis is used whenever there is a current source where you have to apply mesh analysis to but it will be impossible to because you know when you have mesh analysis what you do you always write the sum of the voltages it's like Kirchhoff's voltage law right uh, with the different loops that is I mean Kirchhoff's voltage law is simpler and mesh analysis is more complicated because of many loops and well, when you have to apply mesh analysis to a loop where there is a current source in the middle and it's getting in the way of applying your mesh analysis because you can't actually take the current source because it's a current, right? You have to take a voltage or a resistor and then multiply it with the current or something. So what, what we do is the first step that you have to do is, I mean, uh, the first step that you would do while you were, while you're calculating the uh, currents for these, for this, for these two loops in the circuit is you have to Take this uh, current source that you have and do an open circuit on it. I mean, whenever you have, you want to remove a current source, what you do is you always do an open circuit thing. And when you have to remove a voltage source, you do a short circuit thing. I mean, you just draw a wire over it. So the first step what we do is we draw the original circuit and then just do an open circuit thing here. So the current source is removed. And then now you apply the Kirchhoff's voltage law here. So what we, what we would get minus 20 plus six well look at this we also did write the currents in each loop so we do use these currents as well so six i1 uh sorry yeah six i1 plus four i1 plus two i2 minus 12 volt equals zero so this is the first equation for this and See, we have two variables, I1 and I2, two unknown variables. So one equation is not enough. For two, two unknown variables, we need two equations. For three unknown variables, we need three equations and so on. So we need another equation. And now we, we here comes the uh, KCL rule here. Well, what, what is the KCL? Kirchhoff's current law. So Kirchhoff's current law states that current entering equals current leaving. So current entering a node or a junction is equals to is equal to the current leaving that node or junction. So the current here is uh, one is entering and two currents are leaving, R two I R two and I R three. So the this will be I R one equals I R two plus I R three. So we just sum up the currents that's leaving equals the sum of the currents that's entering. It's actually sum of the current that's entering equals sum of the currents that's leaving. So here. We now this this current source comes to comes to use. We know that I one is entering here, and then this is this is four ampere, and then I two is leaving here. So two current is leaving. So the other equation would be I two plus four ampere equals I one, because I one is entering and I one is I two and four ampere are leaving. So this will be the second equation. So let's just rearrange it. I one minus I2 equals 4. So this would be the second equation for this network. Now you can you don't have to apply Kramer rule, Kramer's rule here. You could just apply substitution or elimination what you've learned in grade 8. Um, and well you can just solve it on your own. It's pretty easy. This will be the final equation. So yeah. And then let's move on to another example. This is example 2. This was example 1. Uh, in example two, you see the current sources are outside and then there's the resistors here. The resistors are here. So there will be three loops, I1, I2 and I3. We write the loops current as current as usual like we did here because those are uh, these, these current I1, I2 in these loops, they also come in come into use. Like I said, while writing the equation, they, they didn't come to use. See, for six ampere, for six ohm, we wrote six I1. For four ohm, we wrote four I, I1 because these were in the current in the loop of I1. And for 2 ohm, we wrote I2 because these were in the loop of I2. All right, so the same thing goes for here, uh, goes to here. The st first step that we do is we just remove the current sources and do an open circuit thing here. Uh, so the, they will be empty. So we just apply Kirchhoff's, uh, so we just apply Kirchhoff's voltage law here. So 2 ohm and then 6 ohm and 8 ohm. So what we get is 2, this is I2, right? So this will be I2. The loop in this, the current in this loop is I2. So 2 into I2 minus I3 plus 6 into uh, I2 plus 
8 into i2 minus i3. So this was i1. It's i1 here. i1 and i3. All right, so 8 into i2 minus i3 equals 0. Sum of voltages equals to 0. So 8, 8 ohm, 8 into i2 minus i3 equals 0. So this is the first equation. And then i1, since it's going clockwise, and this current is also going clockwise, so i1 equals 6 ampere. And this one is also going clockwise, and the, this arrow is also pointing downwards. So i3 equals 8 ampere. So you don't even need to solve the equation here. What you need to do is you just substitute the value of I1 and I3 in this equation that we have. Let me just raise this. This is I1. I2 minus I1. So, and then 6 I2 plus 8 I2 minus I3. So you just substitute the values of I2, I1 and I3 here. And then after you substitute, the only thing that you would have left is I2, then you can just find out I2 by solving this equation algebraically. So yeah, that's about it for, uh, that's about it for super mesh analysis. This is actually, this was actually easy. Uh, you won't get much tough problems because super mesh analysis is fairly easier. I mean, uh, when you have, you just have to detect when you have to do the super mesh analysis. When? When you have this current source getting in the way of your mesh analysis technique and you can't do anything with it because, you know, in mesh analysis, what we do, we apply KVL. And what KVL requires is voltages or resistors only, voltage sources or resistors only. And when this current source is bothering you, or you just remove it by, uh, opening the, by opening the circuit. And then after that, you apply this mesh super mesh analysis technique and then you get the answer. So yeah, that's about it. And uh, please like and subscribe if you want more tutorials and well, good luck.